everyone, welcome. In celebration of National Drive Electric Week, we wanna share about incentives and rebates that are available when purchasing electric vehicle charging stations. Let's get things started with introductions. I'm Rachel and I work at Clipper Creek. We also have Amanda with us today. Um, Amanda, would you tell us a little bit about your role at Clipper Creek? Uh, thank you, Rachel. Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda. I'm the inside sales manager here at Clipper Creek. I manage our team of product specialists here that work with uh, residential customers and educate them on products as well as rebates or incentives that may be available to them. You want the most from your purchase, right? Yes, correct. We want to make sure that everyone's getting the best value and know all of the different options available to them. Great. Good to have you here, Amanda. Thank you. Uh, Will is also joining us today. Will, would you tell us a little bit about your role at Clipper Creek? Sure. Uh, my name is Will Barrett. I'm uh, Director of Sales at Clipper Creek, so I oversee our uh, sales and business development activities. also work closely with Amanda and her team uh, to ensure positive customer experience throughout the whole buying process. I've uh, been in the industry and with the company for about 10 years now. Um, so definitely seen a lot of change over that time and um, you know, things are very exciting at this point with all of the new vehicles um, and especially the incentives that are available to people for purchasing the vehicles as well as uh, infrastructure to get them filled up. Thank you so much for being here, Will. Um, let's get into uh, our discussion about incentives and rebates for EV charging stations. Um, Will and Amanda will go over some basics, but if anyone has any questions, please give us a call, send us an email, or you can post a comment wherever you see this video, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Great. Um, so Amanda, did you want to kick us off uh, talking about maybe the, um, the big federal incentive that exists right now and that, that is uh, set to expire soon? Yeah. Uh, there is a uh, alternative fuel tax credit that's available. Uh, it is for residential and commercial customers. Uh, residentially, this is a uh, federal tax credit that provides 30% up to $1,000. And this is for the purchase and installation of the charging station. It's uh, something that was brought back retroactively and is going to expire at the end of 2020. So it's good to uh, get your purchases in as soon as possible before the year end because the station uh, does need to be installed to qualify for that before the end of the year. I would also add that, um, you know, if you're, if you're not able to make the purchase this year, uh, it's a good incentive to keep your eyes open for um, because it is, it, it is an incentive that has uh, been available, um, gone away, and come back a number of times. Um, so e even if you end up making your purchase of infrastructure in the future, um, you know, still, still take a look to see if that, that incentive exists or has, uh, has come back retroactively. Yeah, and typically for that, you're just going to need to have your paid invoice to show um, purchase of the charging station. And that's something that if you purchase uh, directly that you could request from us as well to get uh, the paid invoice copy for submission for that. And it is a, a federal tax credit, uh, so we do recommend that uh, when you go about, um, you know, filing and claiming that credit, uh, if you do have any questions uh, outside of needing a copy of your invoice, it's best to uh, check with your tax professional on, on, on getting those, any specific questions you have on, you know, filling out that paperwork or submitting um, for that tax rebate answered. I think um, in addition uh, to the federal credit uh, that's available, um, you know, nationwide, there are also a number of uh, local incentives uh, that are available through, uh, through states, uh, but also through uh, utilities and other agencies. Um, Amanda, did you want to talk a little bit about uh, how people can, can find those incentives? Yeah, uh, so we actually do compile a list of uh, state incentives on our website. We have those available for uh, purchase of electric vehicle or purchase of the infrastructure, the charging station as well. Um, you can filter by state and uh, look up incentives that may be available to you. 
There is also the um, Alternative Fuel uh, Data Center website that you can visit um, that has information um, on different rebates, incentives that are available as well that you can also filter by, by location. Um, and I believe we will be sharing a, a link of that uh, with this video as well. I think uh, Amanda touched it a, a, on a really good point there. Um, you know, in, incentives that exist today, uh, they're available for uh, the infrastructure that you use to fill up the vehicle, but there are also many incentives avail available for the vehicles themselves. Um, so that, it, it, again, there are uh, federal uh, tax credits available uh, for the purchase of uh, select plug-in vehicles. Um, there are also additional state and utility-based incentives um, for the vehicle. And in, in many cases, uh, or in all cases, um, these incentives can be stacked. Um, so you, you, know, you have the potential of getting a uh, incentive through the form of a tax credit or a rebate um, in, you know, in the form of a check that the state or your local utility might send you. Um, for the purchase of the vehicle and those and you can you can take advantage of all those incentives if they exist um, in your region and uh, The same is true for the charging infrastructure incentives. So there's a federal incentives, but then there are potentially um, You know local state and utility based incentives that may also exist um, so you know ch check out those resources that Amanda mentioned um, and you know, and and take a little bit of time um, because there could potentially be you know a, a good amount of money on the table. Yeah, and uh, checking our website frequently is a good good thing to do as well because we do work to update that um, every other week. Um, so that any night kind of new incentive that may have just become available, we try to make sure that those are uh, listed on there um, right away so that you know anything new that may have just become available to you. I heard that you can get up to 30% of the credit, um, including the installation fee uh, for electricians. Is that true? Yes, the the tax credit is 30% and up to $1,000. That's for the purchase and installation. Um, it does not cover permitting or inspection fees though. Okay, still that's a great deal. You don't wanna miss out on that. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that's 30% up to $1,000 for uh, a residential installation. So something that, you know, people would install at their home. And then uh, the credit also uh, has a commercial installation um, element to it as well. Uh, and it's, it's similar, it's 30%, um, but it's up to $30,000 per project in the, in the commercial space in case there are any uh, folks that are looking to install commercial charging that are listening in. Um, you know, you're not excluded in those applications and the, um, you know, the amount of the incentive can be a little bit higher as those projects tend to cost quite a bit more. That's great. Uh, well, did you guys have anything else that you wanted to go over? Well, well, one thing, um, if you are in the market, especially for the infrastructure, um, doing a little bit of research on incentives uh, to, to start ahead of your purchase is, is a good idea. Um, especially the local incentives. So, so the federal incentives have a, a certain set of requirements, uh, like the, uh, you know, the equipment needs to be a level two station. Uh, level two is something that's going to hook up to 208 to 240 volt power, uh, similar to what you might use to power an electric clothes dryer or an air conditioner unit. Um, also, many, uh, especially the utility and state incentives will have additional requirements of the equipment. Um, one of the big ones is that the equipment is NRTL uh, listed and NRTL is a nationally recognized testing laboratory. Uh, these are third party agencies that uh, test equipment for the uh, sort of minimum uh, electrical safety, uh, meeting the minimum electrical safety standards for an electrical appliance. Um, so it's a, a, a good thing to make sure that any piece of charging infrastructure you purchase is NRTL certified um, or listed, but especially it's important to be able to take advantage of these incentives. Um, and as Amanda mentioned, you know, in addition to the equipment being NRTL certified, you'll uh, likely need a copy of the receipt, um, which, you know, if you purchase from us, just, you know, reach out to us. You can, uh, we can uh, get a copy of receipt to you very easily. 
Um, you know, in, in, in most of the utilities uh, and entities that have these rebates um, will have their requirements listed out in um, relatively plain English, uh, you know, right on the, the website, uh, on, on their website for the program, which you can get to through our website um, and our incentives page that Amanda mentioned, um, or the Alternative Fuel Data Center, which is a, a federally hosted database that lists out laws and incentives by state. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of good research resources out there. Definitely do a little bit of resource, uh, research ahead of time so you can uh, be sure that you're, you're getting the equipment that'll allow you to take advantage of, of all the rebates and incentives that exist. Well, this was all very helpful. Thank you so much, Will and Amanda. Um, if anyone has any questions or needs assistance, um, please reach out to us by phone, email, or by commenting on this video. Uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining, and uh, happy National Drive Electric Week. Yeah, thank you, Rachel, for putting this together. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow Clipper Creek on our social media channels for more content like this.